In this video, we're gonna take a look at these well-used Shimano XT brakes and try to bring them back to their former glory. Let's begin! Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Before we get started, I would appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This will really help me make more videos like this in the future. Let's continue. I got these brakes off eBay. They were listed as pair repair, so I got them for a pretty good deal. The seller has said that they have sticky levers, so in this video we're gonna try and, and address this. So our main focus will be the levers, but first I'm gonna take a visual inspection and see what we're dealing with, see if there are any other problems. Looking at the front brake, I can see that the caliper is dry. I already removed the brake pads earlier. This is always a good sign because these tend to leak. So we are on a good start here. Taking a look at the lever, I can see some wet part and a bunch of debris in in here so potentially we have a small leak from the piston but hopefully a good clean and a loop will sort it out let's take a look at the back brake yeah the caliper is dry and i expect actually this one looks a bit better you can see there is not such wet part and not as much debris as on the front brake and another thing you can see this lever here is moving and this is a common problem with this we're gonna change this metal bit here and it will be as good as new okay i'm gonna start first at the front lever let me put my gloves on what we're gonna need for this is a set of Allen keys, a 7mm and an 8mm spanner, some Torx bed with a screwdriver. We're gonna need a Shimano bleeding kit. We're also gonna need a pick. This will be the first one of the first things we're gonna do. We also need a small screwdriver just for prying out things. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the cable from the brake lever. There should be some oil in the system, but I'm gonna put this uh, uh, paper towel underneath. So here we need a eight mm spanner. And turn this here. Now I'm gonna take this aside. We're not gonna need it anymore until the end. Okay, there is not much oil inside this lever and if I try, you can see the fluid is a bit dark. I think this is due to the fact that some debris has gone in through the brake um, lever piston here inside and went into the, into the mineral oil which contaminated the fluid and probably lost some of its braking power. To start taking this apart, I'm gonna first remove the back bit here and then start moving into disabling the actual uh, brake uh, lever. So I'm gonna put this paper towel on the side so I can put all my parts in there. So I'm using a torch bit to remove this screw here. Then we need a 2.5 millimeter Allen key to remove the filling cap. Put this on the side. Now this cover should just pop off. Like this. And now we have another Torx screw. Just remove that as well. This tape is not really necessary, but uh, because the fluid is contaminated, I want to clean as much as possible from the reservoir here. So now I need a pick to lift this cover and now you can see the inside of the lever 
we can now remove this uh, rubber piece now to start disassembling the lever i will first remove this uh, this rubber piece here this will expose an allen screw just be careful not to lose that so for this we need a two millimeter allen key and just unscrew it this is what holds this metal bit in place once we unscrew this not all the way we're gonna be able to just remove the metal piece and the whole lever will come out oh i just removed it but that's fine just set it on the side now we need to push on this bit here so that this metal bit goes out like this get it all the way out and now our lever will just come out like this now you can see this is the rod that pushes the piston from the inside it, it's held by these two plastic bits on each side in order to remove the metal rod we just get the eight millimeters pan that we just used earlier put it in it just goes in nicely over over this metal bit here and you just rotate to one side Oop. and this is it out of the way next thing we just have to use the small screwdriver and push these plastic bits out of the way okay one of them is out here it is and now the other one this one is is holding the reach adjustment piece here that uh, when you screw your reach adjuster here it pushes on this plastic bit so make sure you remove that as well now to remove the piston you can either use this allen key but be very careful to not scratch the inner sides of, of the lever just put it in but I have this uh, wood pick here. I'm gonna try to do it with that. Just push and it should go straight out. And here we have our piston out of the way. And in there, it, there is also a spring. Here is the spring. And our lever is fully disassembled. Now I'm just gonna use some brake cleaner and clean all these parts and we're gonna be ready to put it back together. Okay, so now we have everything clean or as, as clean as I can get it. First, I'm gonna start putting back together the reservoir here and then we're gonna move to the more interesting bit which will be the lever and how it goes in here. So for this, we first have to add this rubber piece in here. Then we have to put this part over here and then the metal bit which goes over here now we have to put the back screw and screw this in now we're gonna add the reservoir on top the reservoir cover Okay, for the piston, first we have to put the spring in inside the chamber here. Just drop it in. And for this piston, I like to put some uh, silicon grease. 
on the rubber seals just a touch just gently rub it all around the seal and then a bit on the other side okay so this part is on the outside where the uh, shaft presses it when you uh, when you squeeze the lever so this one goes this side goes in first just drop it in and that is it okay the next part is the free stroke adjuster so we have to put this in like this and then this part here which has the two notches on the side goes in here this part is always tricky to get right but hopefully I'm gonna get it right this time and this side is in now I'm gonna put the other side in as well just like this okay both sides are in now look at how it all gets together next part is this shaft here so the same way we got it in I'm gonna try using the spanner before that I'm just gonna lightly lubricate this here with some all-purpose loop as this is a moving part I just want to put a bit of it a bit of loop on it now I'm just gonna try to align it with the with the piston and then I'm gonna use this press gently and here it is okay now we can put back the stroke the the stroke adjuster screw just screw this in I'm just gonna leave it halfway there okay next next bit is uh, the actual lever here and the spring so usually if you take it apart and forget which way it goes you can see here there is actually a mark and this is from this part of the spring so this goes like this so here we will need to align everything together so all the holes match and as I showed you earlier uh, this piece has actually worn out you can see it here how it's worn on one side so you can buy replacements for this and this is how it looks brand new this is called lever axle for this particular model of brakes and this is the the new piece here I'm gonna try to leave the spring out and put it in in the end okay let's try Okay, it went a bit too much. I'm gonna get it a bit out. And now I'm going to squeeze the lever and put the spring in. Just like just like this. And put this all the way through. and we are almost there now we have to tighten this in here with our two millimeter allen key so that the, the lever axle doesn't go out and put this rubber piece in the end
like this. And our lever is fully assembled. So next part will be to attach it back to the caliper and change the foot. A few moments later. This was satisfying. Hopefully I was able to show you how easy it is to work on these Shimano brakes. Now I have to do the same for the rear brake and we will be one step closer to completing the build behind me. If you want to see more videos like this or you want to follow along and see how this build goes, please check out my channel and consider subscribing. This will be it for this video, so all of you, please wear at least a helmet, stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!